think it's done to me That you ain't coming back I've lost my chance to see Us find our way back Hey my lovelies and welcome back to the channel and today we are here with episode 4 of Growing Not So Buried Together and if you've been following this series you may be asking yourself Willeke, it's a Saturday, we typically have episodes on Tuesday, why is this? So I've been having so much fun with this series and I've been really enjoying playing it and every single time when I end that episode I want to keep playing and I want to keep continuing her story, I want to keep building up Pepper's life that I decided that I'm going to air your episodes a week every single week from now on so on Saturdays and Tuesdays you may be expecting an episode of Pepper and last episode was pretty pretty great I really enjoyed it which is why I'm now filming this one and I've really decided on doing two episodes a week because we adopted Noodle there was so much fun we were really more focusing on her life outside of just work and I love Noodle, she got a milestone from adopting Noodle as well. And we're doing pretty well, we're not doing too bad. We're on a step 2 of Chief of Mischief. We're on level 4 of the scientist career. I don't think we are going to get another promotion today, but we're definitely going to get another promotion in this episode. And also in terms of skills, we're close to level 6 in logic and yeah, level 5 of Mischief. So we're not doing too bad. But I do want to get started on her other part of life. So we went on a date with Aiden last episode. There wasn't really a romantic connection between the two of them. So if you want him to have another chance, just let me know and I will give it to him. But I'm, I think I'm going to do another meet and mingle date and just keep going until there is somebody that she actually does have a connection with. She is a bit difficult, to be honest. Like, she really is difficult. When it comes to guys, and that's fine, you don't have to go for every guy or every girl inside. And we just made the satellite dish. So we can contact aliens, uh, but we don't need to go for every everyone out there. But it would be nice if she liked a bit more guys and if she or girls, and if she had like some connection with somebody. We also need to update, upgrade the which we're gonna do so let's pop that one in here and start upgrading and I'm just gonna have her continue her work and I'm just going to make sure that she does all of her tasks she's a bit tired so maybe we need to take a nap but we'll see how it goes like she's talking with Kelsey are you? yes so let's see what we need to do after okay there we go Drink or give away non-tested serum. Uh, we have a rose perfume in here. Stop talking with uh, Kelsey. Why don't we give one to Zachary? And we also need to start a neighborhood hive mind. I think we're going to do the dance party. Right, so we just created the snake oil, which we either need to drink or give away. I'm going to give it away again, just because I don't know what is going to happen. So... Uh, David, why don't you test this room? And then we need to experiment on the chemistry lab and chat with the invention constructor for 10 minutes. But the poor invention constructor is broken. So I think we need to fix it first before we can actually talk to it. But why don't you drink this snake oil and then let's experiment. Let's fix the invention constructor, which hopefully goes well because she doesn't have any handiness skill as far as I know. No, she doesn't have any, so let's hope it goes well. And then what I'm also going to do, which is why I'm upstairs over here. We still need a few elements in the elements collection. Uh, I know that a diamond is one of the ones that we actually... Or that can give us one of the ones that we actually need. So I'm going to clone it in case we don't get it. Then we have some, um, some options to still get it. And the same goes for rainbows. Which is this one. We also need to get a element from this one. Or can get an element for this one. So we're cloning here the diamond upstairs. And Pepper actually got a fear. Death is inevitable. Pepper knows that. Pepper just didn't think that she would be thinking about it so soon. There's still so much to do. How will Pepper get everything done if that is just around the corner? Is it safer to just hide forever? Why is she scared of death? And we didn't clone what we needed. Oh, okay. So try again. 
somebody die? Nobody she knows died, so... Ooh, Zoe aged up in a dark. Oh, so cute. But... I don't know why she is scared of death. But... Hopefully this isn't some, like... Pronunciation... Not pronunciation. Uh, premonition. Where something is going to happen. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully there will be no dying in this episode today. We're home and Kelsey has decided to come over with a little gift. We didn't get any new elements. I do have the item stuck in inventory bug again. Uh, so hopefully traveling will fix it. We were just giving our little noodle some huggies as we haven't seen today. So why don't you pet her? And I think afterwards, what do we get? Let me see what we get. And I'll see what's on your head. Mm, we got a faux meat cube. Uh, she is actually hungry, so why don't you eat this? Um, and Nadia is calling us as well, saying that she's planning some casual front time. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. But what we're going to do is we're going to go on another meet and mingle date. We do have some time, even though she's tired and hungry. I think we can go out. So I'm just going to see uh, if there's anyone out there for her. Uh, no, you, you cannot move in. And I hate that they actually feel sad about this when you say that you cannot move in. But we don't have the space for somebody. And... She feels bad about it. She actually does get the option then in Deep Thoughts to apologize. But sometimes, like, friends don't ask typically for to move in. So it is weird that they actually get hurt sentiments from this. Or she gets, like, sentiment where she feels that she's done something wrong. I don't like it, but unfortunately it is there. But we're going to schedule a meet and mingle date. She is scared from her new fear. But hopefully it's gonna go well and hopefully we finally find somebody that she likes all right so we are on another meet and mingle date and we actually went to this restaurant in uh windenburg so we're going to request a table let's see if there's one that looks nice what's the weather like the weather is sparsely cloudy it's cool but it's i think we can sit out too mm, can we we can request this one and who is our date? Travis Scott. All right. Uh, why don't we give him a funny interaction and see if they have a connection, see if there's a match between them. He is look he's not looking too bad. Like he he's he is looking good. But of course, she has to be the one to decide if she actually likes him or not. Cool. Oh, and what <laughs> What is the host? Oh, sometimes I really do need to make sure that PC is unable, uh, is disabled for randoms because I'm I'm just looking at this like what? But what do you? Okay, he I think they got a good first impression. He thinks she's strong-minded and again basic looking. But let's just see how it goes. Let's just see if they start talking, if there is a connection or not. We're, we're just gonna see. Okay, so we're just trying to get to know him. We know that he dislikes contemporary decor. He likes basic fashion and polished fashion. And he is a quality assurance at Rainy Day Entertainment. I'm also trying to... We're not gonna play Juice Fun Girl. Uh, she came to close knit lifestyle. Okay, but we're just asking about his favorite color. We're trying to get to know him. We're asking about his taste in music. I've already ordered for the table, so they're gonna get their food soon. And it's like the questions are going fine. Like it's a pleasant conversation. Sometimes it turns boring with the other guys. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, he is self-assured. And now it's a boring conversation. Right when I said that it wasn't a boring conversation. But eat your coffee and drink your cocktail. He likes hip-hop music. Girl, where are you going? Where are you going? What? 
Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, I don't really know what she's doing. She wanted to play, or the Raider wanted to play just fun with her, which I didn't want her to do. But we're gonna keep talking to Travis. Like, it's going okay ish. But again, either maybe she's picky, maybe I am picky. Uh, we're just going to. He wants to discuss a fear, so why don't we do this? And we're just gonna keep talking to him. We're just gonna see like if there's any connection. If we get them to be friends, I think it's fine. It's now a casual conversation again. Um, but if we get them to friends, I think there's a better chance. Uh, she's just gonna gossip with him a bit, like not ask too many questions, even though that is something that you would do on a date. And again. We're just gonna do... We're gonna ask if he's single. See how he responds to this. She is very tired, so although I don't like cheating, I'm gonna bump this up just a bit so we can stay out on the date a bit longer. Um, how does he respond to this? He is single. There's no plus or minus signs from this. So that's good. Why don't we... Rotation... Do a... Compliment appearance. She does think he's basic looking, but we're just gonna compliment his appearance and we'll yeah, see how he responds. Okay, so this is actually a positive response. This is the first time that we got a positive response from a guy where we actually got a bit of romance. Chatty Gobi. So, okay, why don't we um, do a little bit of a flirt? How is that one gonna go? They're talking now. If there's a romance, I'm gonna give this a, uh, a go and see, like, if maybe do one or two more dates. But if there's, like, he's receptive, which is good. This is the first time, first time somebody has been receptive of her advances. So we're also gonna go ask him how he's been. And then just exchange a bit of, like, romantic interactions with. Um, oh, he had an argument. Aww. We're gonna do like a little bit of different interactions and see how it goes. We've ended the meal, we've paid our bill, and she's feeling a bit of an awkward encounter when she was doing a pickup line. I'm now going to see if he responds well to pranks with her. Like, they had some romance, but it doesn't show, so we're gonna do another compliment appearance as well. And just see like how he responds if it doesn't go if there's no girl really <laughs> really oh that's the prank okay um okay he did respond well to that one he doesn't like it uh hmm. dramatic story I don't think again there was a little bit of an exception but now there's no exception. So I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work out again. Uh, we can put him on a list, potentially see like if um, if we can give him another chance. Chat about services, just keep chatting. Like the, it is going well, but there are moments where there's like some insecurity. I think for her there needs to be like an actual connection, somebody that she can be herself with. And that she can talk to. We are going to do smooth recovery. And stop playing ping pong. People keep inviting her to play ping pong. Because I don't select this for her. She has never played ping pong. I'm just going to reset her. Because I really don't like that people here keep wanting to play ping pong. And I'm very close to deleting this table. To be honest. Like I'm very very close. But we're going to do a smooth recovery. See if that actually helps. Because she does have that option. So do a smooth recovery. And is that working? Okay, that worked. What does he think of her? Like maybe he doesn't have any interest in her. That's also the possibility. Um what does she want to do? She wants to share insecurities, that's fine. And uh, we need to go home and get to bed actually. Um I think we can give him another chance. I don't think he's into her, to be honest. So, I think we're just gonna go home. 
but maybe like i'll let you guys decide on what you guys think but if this is a potential then we'll give it another go if you guys don't think so then we'll try somebody else oh she actually conquered her fear i'm at work and i just saw that she was very confident she conquered her fear of uh death apparently so okay and now we're talking to marcus asking for a crystal we also need to tinker with the computer mix the tainted serum which we i think we can do the rose perfume best and then chat with the invention constructor for 10 minutes so chat with robot and then i think we're going to make another rose perfume. i think that one would be the best and then we are going to test the rose perfume and i think we can then make a tainted serum and we also need to analyze a crystal. I think we're going to analyze a diamond or a rainbows if we can. I don't think we can. Uh, then let's do the fire opal. I think we may be able to get one of the uh, elements from there. And we actually already made a tainted serum because it didn't go well. But we need to contact the aliens again. So contact aliens. And she's going over to Marcus to discuss work as well and we are going to analyze the crystals so we're doing good in our work i'm i am interested to in seeing in what happens uh when she's contacting aliens currently i don't have in mcc uh, i can do it right now i don't have the option available for females getting pregnant too when being abducted but i think we can actually create this setting because i i think it would be fun to actually see uh aliens also making uh custom pregnancy mm, no yeah, i need to check this out but i think it would be fun to actually have females also be abducted get pregnant oh my aliens have shown up at the lab look over here and i don't care about yeah, the people, but there's one two there are stuff our aliens in the lab but we need to we're not going to chat with them. Uh, we need to keep working on our things because it's almost the end of the day and we're still on silver. But she's going to clone an object. She's going to analyze some items and experiment as well. And we need to give an untested serum to a co-worker. So Archer, where are you? I think we're going to give it to Archer because we don't get along that well. I think he would be the best one to give it. All right, we're logic level six, which is great. And we found a new metal, which we already had, but let's see if we, if we get our promotion. No, we did amazing. Okay, so promotion tomorrow then. And what I think I'm going to have her do at home is just relax with Noodle and also work on her mischief and logic. So we are going to get that one done as soon possible i don't think i'm going to have her go out but we're gonna go into work tomorrow and then what we're also going to do is have her go on friday evening for one more meet and mingle day to see if that one is a success guys it's happening she is getting abducted by an alien right when she was cooking some dinner um all right she does seem happy about it she was looking very excited. Noodle is now all left alone drinking her own tea. So we're going to lecture her about this once get back from being abducted. Uh, yeah, guys, she's getting abducted. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I did find the option to turn on pregnancy for females as well. So it could be that she gets back pregnant it could also be that she that nothing happens but we'll we'll see how it goes um i'm just going to go ahead and wait for her to come back and she's back uh she's still feeling very confident she also feels focused from aliens awesome seeing all that amazing alien technology truly boggles the mind even when it's being used on you and she also did get a milestone from being abducted by aliens uh okay 
Um, so she's now back. I don't know oh, if she's right. pregnant. I'm not gonna test if she's pregnant. I don't know if we can take a. No, we can take a pregnancy test. So we'll see if she's pregnant from there. She's just gonna keep on cooking. She uh, is going to relax with Noodle a little bit on the couch. Oh no, she Noodle's asleep. So I think we're just gonna let Noodle and then do a little bit more mischief on the forums. Uh, she is a little bit. Or had a mischief level 5 and she's now also logic level 6. And her and Derek also despise each other because she sent him another chain letter. But we're just gonna continue see what happens in the next few days. If she's pregnant, then she's pregnant. If not, then, then she's not. And <laughs> this is not gonna be another day because Best Starting just asked him out. Um, Go for it. it I guess you don't want to go on a date with us then. So she's going to troll the forums, uh, she's also going to vote on the neighborhood action plan. We're not going to do too much with this, but I just want to make sure that there is a boost for logic and for mischief. So we, those are the only ones that we're going to focus on and otherwise I don't care what neighborhood action plans we have. So right now we have promote the creative arts and we have we wear backs and I just want to make sure that there is one in place. Or is it fun loving community? Yes. So that we have the fun loving community. I'm just gonna vote a lot on this one and make sure that we get it. So this should be enough, right? Just use all of our points. Uh, and then the next time we're gonna do uh, logic just to make sure that all of the neighborhood action plans that we do have in place are ones that we actually need. And her needs are looking pretty good. So we're just gonna keep working on our mischief in the meantime, like she's now midway through level 5, so why don't you sit down again and start trolling the forums. And Noodle, we gave her a lot of attention last night, but I think once we're back home from work, we're gonna go out and give her a little short walk. Today it's more of a conversation day with colleagues and about morals, so we're gonna talk to Kelsey now. And unfortunately, we do have to give her fake bad news, but hopefully their friendship is high enough that she's actually gonna give it. Gonna see it. They're gonna become partners in crime. I think they're fun. And let's see. Can we give her then fake bad news that she doesn't mind? This chief, thanks. Uh, deception. Give fake bad news. I really hope that she doesn't like it. And we also have to do deep conversation. <laughs> this does feel bad. Um, yeah, she didn't like that. So I'm sorry, Kelsey, but we're gonna have a deep conversation with her now. And then we need to chat with the convention instructor and also explain about work David Geary. So, chat with Robot. And we're just gonna keep talking with our co workers. This is up, and this should get our promotion because we're very close to having it. Where's where did David go? Where are you? Oh, everybody's over here. Um, we're gonna complain about work to David, and I think once we're like uh, this far on the right side, I think what we're then going to do is just try to get as many crystals and elements, uh, crystals and metals as we can, and try to find some as well, just to make sure that we can work on the element collection. No, who started the fire? Who started a fire? It's not... Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Extinguish the freeze ray. Run over here. Make sure he doesn't die. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Run over here. Why is there always a fire here at work? Like, this is the place of fires, but... Come on. Come over here. Make sure he doesn't die. Save his life. Okay, I think it's all good. <laughs> oh, this, now, this noise is so irritating. I'm sorry, guys, but um, I'm gonna complain to work. I'm complaining about, like, oh, these fires, right? Like, they're so irritating. Like, I don't get why we have these. Like, can we not do it, guys? Like, she's gonna complain to him because he started the fire. Like, why did you do this? Um, so we're also going to insult his work ethic. I'm sorry, he's feeling so tense and a bit sad. But 
Yeah. He started the fire. Like, she's been the one to start a, uh, a few fires as well, but... We, we need to find, like, somebody to do actions with. And I don't think our chip guy, Derek, is here. So we're just gonna do it this way. I'm trying to find... I think it's a mean, which... She, like, she's not a militia. She's not mean. Um... But sometimes, like, we do have to do the... Zarkin. Ooh, and she decided that she likes rocket science. Yes, sure. Uh, I don't think we're gonna finish working the whole, finish building the whole rocket. Or maybe you are, maybe you're not. But her liking rocket science actually fits with Hello Jen, because maybe she can teach her grandchild all about rocket. So let's. Um. I am going to clone the diamonds. It doesn't work. Need to be honest, but we'll be gonna. Okay, it doesn't want to be played. Um, we're gonna clone the, the diamonds and the rain boards if I can find it. I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But we got the peridium now, and the only ones that we still need are the goo black, the wolfium, the Rydaku, and the Phyrexia. So hopefully, we get the but we're close. We only need four of them. And she's right now mixing a tainted serum because she created the rose yeah. perfume serum three so times, even though one of them or two of them were already tainted. Oh. But she's just creating that as she knew. And I think she may oh. colleagues, so since David already got the worst of it today, I think Arch is gonna be next. Oh, she actually needs to just work with him. Okay, that sounds great. And we got a promotion! So she's now been promoted to level 5, which is the technological innovator. She will make an additional 24 simonians per hour for a grand total of 72 simonians per hour. She received Sim 5 for test tube pedestal, received some extra simonians and some new clothes. And so Friday, we're gonna celebrate by going on another meet and mingle date. And hopefully, this one goes well. All right, so we're meeting up with Anthony Peterson. Let's see, let's do a funny introduction again. I think she is more of the funny introduction oh, types of guy, <laughs> types of girl. And I love this outfit so much on her, which is, we haven't seen it yet, but I thought it would be amazing. And it doesn't seem that he already likes her, but... Uh, why don't we talk about cooking just for a bit as she is hungry. I'm going to have her order some food in this. She wants these knobs so that she can get a bit of uh, stomach and also fun to learn these recipes throughout the legacy as well. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to just have them fun at the karaoke place and see if there is a match between them. We do have Diego Lobo here as well who is a lister here is your two maybe we just this ourselves to them as well see how it goes and just try to see a little bit more out there as well. okay so it's very low but even though she just acquired the singing scale she is not the first that i've heard but i'm just going to zoom out as it's getting a bit too loud she's going to order after this uh just gonna make sure that it's actually vegetarian as i didn't check and damn, that's so loud. Uh, why don't we do the pita and hummus tapas? And they're getting pretty well, to be honest. I haven't done any flirty interactions. He does perceive them as basic look. But so far, going okay. He is unemployed, but that's fine. Uh, she's going to talk about her promotion with him. Well, but I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Like she's not doing too bad in talking with him. What else we know about him is he dislikes cooking. He likes basic fashion and politics, which I think everybody likes. He is a geek, and they have amazing compatibility. He thinks she's a nature maniac, but he feels closer to him from good times and happy memories. So who knows? Well. Maybe there is somebody that she finally likes a bit out here. In other words, we're just gonna see if there's somebody here in the crowd that she can actually talk to and actually likes. So, 
Anthony decided to leave. It is getting a bit late. It's 2 a.m. But I friends. Yes, they're friends. Flirting did go a bit. It didn't go too bad. So I think we're going to invite him over in the next episode and give him another chance. And she wants to eat. Um. Well, you ordered your plate here, so grab this. One. And everybody else is leaving also, but there are so many people out here uh, that she can also help to. Is there anybody in that maybe she does have any? I don't think so. I think Diego Lobo is not going to be her type, to be honest, and everybody else that is around here. Oh, we know Zachary. Um, but I don't think there's anybody else out here that she really haven't to be honest her needs are getting low so i think i'm going to end the episode here and i'm just gonna let her go home she's going to bring of course this food with her so she can eat the rest of it at home and she wants to chat with rush okay um but i'm going to make sure that she takes care of her needs and since it's and tomorrow we're gonna focus on her skills we're gonna make sure that she working on this we're also Work on our elements collection. I think I'm going to set off the diamond and rain boards as it does have the opportunity to give us the Phyrexian. And then we'll see what we're going to do. If you guys want, want me to do anything in the next episode, just let me know. I think we're going to focus on her skills and also making sure that she hangs out with Nadia. What I think would be fun is having Noodle and Zoe meet each other and maybe a little bond campus start between those two but again let me know in the comments down below what you think and also let me know if you want me to have an actual date with anthony i think I can so let me know and with that i'm going to end this episode and see you guys in the next one i think it's on to me that you ain't coming back i've lost my chance to see us find our way back And in the end amidst these trying times I'll always try to find you I'll lie to you